Good evening from Coffee Bay in South Africa. This is an absolutely stunning location and it is a perfect place to base ourselves for our explorations of the wild coast here in South Africa. And it all starts right now. Let's go. I haven't even put the drone up yet. They're gonna love the drone. But yeah, beautiful light here right now. Such a stunning location just outside of Coffee Bay. You can walk here for most accommodations. Just so good, so, so good. Wild Coast is a landscape photographer's dream. You're in South Africa, come here. gone down here behind me never enough time never enough time um, so unfortunately I was only able to get a couple shots off I'm happy with them but these kids stole the show for sure they're still with us whoa sorry it's a bit windy so the gimbal's going all crazy they really want to see the drone so gotta give these guys a good drone flight and uh, say hi from the air and what a great start to the first day exploring Coffee Bay and the wild coast of South Africa. And we're back. Nelly is cooking up a storm and what an absolute awesome uh, sunset that was. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. That location was 
even sun, sunset and sunrise would probably both be fantastic. Yeah, and it's so close to Coffee Bay. No matter where you stay in this little village, that's like a 10 minute walk, a two minute drive. The only reason we drove up there was to try and get that drone footage because I knew it was gonna look amazing. And uh, even though there was another car, I, I still think it looked really, really cool when we were arriving. And uh, those kids just really made it. I think as a travel photographer, there's a part of me that really is always searching for like that epic, epic image and looking for the the, uh, the new location or the new uh, opportunity to get a hero shot. But when you've got like kids like that that are just so excited, they're not asking for any money, they're not asking for any food, they're just totally excited about you being there and about the gear. All those like preconceived ideas of getting that perfect shot go right out the window and you remember how much fun traveling is and that that's the experience that it's all about for, for us. So I hope that came across in the video. That was a ton of fun and uh, tomorrow is a new day and our first full day exploring Coffee Bay and this wild coast area and I think it's going to be awesome. So, Fingers crossed that the weather stays like this. Yeah, and uh, let's jump right into tomorrow. So we've made it to a really famous photo spot here in Coffee Bay called the Hole in the Wall. And this is about like a 20 minute drive mm -hmm. from the town center, but you can also hike it. It's a beautiful hike oh, along the coast, but we were lazy today and we drove yeah. it. <laughs> it's also a very overcast day and we had a really nice sunset last night. And then I don't know, the clouds just moved in overnight. I, I got up to try and shoot sunrise, but it looked terrible. It's just clouds and that's the way it is when you're traveling, you know, every day can't be great. So, but it'd still be cool to check out the spot. Actually. Yeah, it's a bit of location scouting as well. We are here for a couple nights, so if the light really does get good we can always come back here um, but yeah let's uh, show you a little bit of the wild coast and the hole in the wall Got to introduce our local guides who have uh, graciously joined us on this short hike to hole in the wall this is Dola Lucas and Warren yeah say hi Hi. 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 Where are we going Hi. right now? Now no. we're going to Holland the Wall and on the way back we take you to Boiling Point. Point. Okay. Uh, we climb yeah. up the mountain, the mountain seeing the view of the, the wilds and the dolphins. It's, it's, really? Yeah. Really, really. And, and whales. And There's whales. whales and dolphins, dolphins here right now? Yeah. yeah. Alright, fingers crossed. Maybe we'll get lucky and see some whales and some dolphins. Yeah. Should we go hold the wall? Lead the way, guys. Yeah. yeah okay. Let's go. Uh -huh. <laughs> We are at the hole in the wall. It is still a bit overcast, but you can see how amazing of a location this is. Time to get the drone up in the air and uh, what kind of drone pilot would I be without trying to fly through that? Might not be the smoothest, but let's give it a go. up to the top of one of the hills and the sun has arrived finally which is amazing and uh, just in time the guys have spotted the dolphins mm -hmm. awesome this is why it's so good to have local guides they know exactly where to go so time to get the drone back up in the air and see what uh, see what these dolphins look like from the drone ready
Yeah, we made it. Holy. It is now officially very hot out. The sun is out. We should have come an hour later, but all good. That's the uh, life of the realistic vlog. But uh, yeah, hopefully the afternoon is going to be beautiful. So time to head back towards Coffee Bay. And goes. And goes. And goes. And goes. Oh yeah. And we're back, back at the hotel where we're staying here in Coffee Bay. Uh, it's kind of overcast again and really, really humid. It feels like we're living in a cloud and that's totally fine, but it does make it a little bit more challenging to sort of plan where I would like to do the, uh, the shoots for this afternoon and uh, this evening and even sunrise again tomorrow because it's, uh, yeah, just overcast. But anyway, we'll get to that when we get to it. Uh, today is a weekday, so we need to get caught up on some work. Uh, so I think I'll use the next few hours to show you a little bit around uh, where we're staying here because it's beautiful. And then get the laptop open and try and get some emails done and get caught up on the editing. Because as you know very well, we are full-time travelers, location independent. And it's very important that we stay on top of communication to be able to get more work in the future and also hopefully sell some work so we create a bit of passive income. Come. And yeah, that all starts right now. The rain we've been waiting for all day has finally arrived. It is about an hour before sunset and it's looking like all the humidity and sort of the haziness of the day is coming to a close with a thunderstorm. I've been hearing some rumbles in the distance and even a little bit of lightning. It's getting dark really, really quick. So, you know, we got one little brief patch of sun today, but it has been waiting to rain all day long. And uh, this is another side of the wild coast to share with you for sure. So fingers crossed crossed the weather will clear tomorrow because I've still got a another lookout point that I really want to share with you here on the vlog and try and get some photographs of as well so this wild coast adventure continues at 4 30 in the morning tomorrow oh come on Good morning from Coffee Bay, South Africa. I have uh, taken our little two-wheel rental car up uh, to the top of a cliff, which is absolutely amazing that we can drive up here. It's so cool. And uh, this is the next sunrise location. It's just about 4.30 a.m. Check this out. Coffee Bay, South Africa. This place is something else. Even the wild coast alone, like there's so many good landscape photography opportunities along this stretch of uh, the Eastern Cape province of South Africa. And we're really only exploring a little tiny bit of it here around Coffee Bay. But man, these, these kind of cliffs are like a landscape photographer's dream. I only wish we had better weather. Uh, so it's uh, overcast, but it's not raining. So that's a good thing. I'm gonna set up the gear, try and get some really long exposures on this scene and see what we come up with.
The sun has just broken on the horizon. It is probably about 10 to 5 in the morning, and this is insane. Coffee Bay, wow. So the sun is up and this really is the perfect place to fly. Wow, that drone flight was incredible. That is just amazing. I'm on such a high. Coffee Bay, Eastern Cape, Wild Coast, South Africa from the drone and this spot, that was perfect. Now, this place also is a bit of a hidden location, hidden on top of a cliff, but it's a, it's a bit of a secret spot. And uh, if you are coming to Coffee Bay and you're interested in, in how to get here, drop a comment below and I will try my best to respond with uh, the information on how to get to this spot. It's uh, not marked, there's no signs, but it's obviously you can do it with a two wheel drive rental car. So if, uh, if you got one of those, you can definitely make it here. However, four wheel would probably be better, but yeah, secret spot. Drop a comment, I'll tell you how to get here. And just amazing, like, so cool, ah, love it, love it, love it, love it. But 6 a.m. right now, it's time to head back to the hotel, see if little Miss Sunshine Nelly Winter is awake, and uh, yeah, have our last morning in Coffee Bay. So I'm back and I found Nelly Winter, and uh, yeah, it looks like it's a beautiful day. Absolutely, so. a bit of a bummer because yesterday we would have needed it exploring, this area but it was still a great day and I think we still got some great footage yeah. and you got some great shots this morning. Yeah this so. morning was amazing. I already showed Nelly some of the drone clips because they're just that good uh, but from the first sunset here in Coffee Bay with those kids and that was really really nice yeah. light that was really cool and uh, all these lookout points around here are free hole in the wall as well I mean we did end up paying for those guides but uh, they were really great and they took us to some cool spots so yeah I think overall this part of the wild coast has a lot to offer and it's definitely worth a couple days. I agree, absolutely. But the Wild Coast is not over yet. We're still going south and there's still more to see. So. Yeah, that's very true. The Wild Coast is a big chunk of the Eastern Cape province. Uh, and this is just a small little portion. Uh, today we're heading to Chinsta. Yes. Yeah, and then East London and then Port Elizabeth and the journey continues. So as always, thank you so much for watching the video. We hope you like this video and we see you on the next one. Thanks. <laughs>